Hello and welcome to UE4 Tips for You. So in our previous tutorial we have implemented this functionality to our character that our character moves left and right with proper animations as you can see in this video. So in this tutorial we will implement our hands IK so that our character can properly grab the ledges with proper hands position so for doing this let's open our character blueprint and create a new function i will call this function ik underscore hands tracing i will use this sphere trace by channel For detecting my hit position from our from our right hand so for start and end position I will create a new virtual bond to my character so that we have the proper we have the proper reference for our tracing and we can perform the proper animation while performing the IK. So for right hand virtual one first I'm gonna select right shoulder then add a virtual bone then the target board target bone will be my right hand. So here is my here is my virtual bone for right hand is set up. I'm gonna copy its name and open our character blueprint. So here is our IK hand tracing function. So for setup its start and end location, I will grab a mesh and get socket location the bone name will be our virtual bone that we just create so this will be our start position for sphere trace and for the end position I'm gonna get actor rotation this time get its forward vector and multiply the forward vector with some constant this constant will be our trace length I will set the trace length 60 units and add the result to our start position and then this will be our end location and the trace radius will be 10 units dot ebook type for one frame so let's check the result of the tracing so I'm gonna call this function when I press spacebar and grab the ledge so here I have grabbed the ledge then after this I'm gonna set timer by function name the function name will be our ik underscore hands tracing time will be 0 0.01 you can set the time according to your need and loop will be true and when I release the ledge we will clear the timer for our IK so here our function is set up now let's check the tracing result so our tracing is working fine let's first hide our other traces
here you can see my character performed the proper animation and also the race is working properly fine so next thing we will open our IK find tracing function and if this trace hits something we will add a branch and break our hit result and after this so the first trace that we just set up will give us x and y location in world space for our hand and the second trace that we are just gonna set up will give us the z location in world space for our hand so the start position will be 20 units above from the position of first trace i think 50 will be fine 15 and the end location will be 20 units we will subtract 20 units from z axis so this is our second sphere trace is set up let's check this sphere trace so here you can see my both traces are working properly fine so let's add a bunch over here and break the hit result so let's first set up our variable for our for the position of our right hand so here i have created variable for our ik underscore right hand I'm gonna set the variable over here then make vector the z location will be from hit position of our second trace i'm gonna break the vector and this will be our z position and for the x and y position let's first grab the impact normal of our first trace and create a rotation from x axis rotation from it rotation from its x-axis and get forward vector multiply it with some constant like 30 and grab the impact point of our first trace and add the result to this now let's break the vector and this will be our x and y location of our hands so here is our right hand variable is set up for our right hand ik now let's open our animation blueprint and from the event graph let's grab our variable that we just create and get IK right hand and promote this to a variable over here in the animation blueprint call the variable IK underscore right hand set the variable here now let's open our animation graph so here is our current state of animation graph when can hang is true our character is in the climbing state 
so from climbing state we set up two bone IK for our right hand let's grab two bone IK node over here in the animation graph set up its properties IK bone will be our right hand and the factor location space will be our world space the comp joint target will be our parent bone space and the joint target will be right arm so here the properties are set up now let's connect the two bone I can hold like so let's check the result when I set the can hang to true let's set the hand position for example over here and set the joint target location like so joint target location will be our minus 15 in the x-axis 10 in the y and minus 5 in the z axis so here the joint target will joint target location is set now for the factor location the factor location will be our ik right hand variable that we just made now let's check the result So here you can see my IK is working but character's hand is not in proper position in X and Y axis. Z axis is fine you can see but the X and Y is not fine because in our IK hand tracing function we have set 30 units so instead of 30 from our impact normal to forward vector let's just add 5 units so let's now check the result so here you can see my x and y is almost fine and the z is a little bit upper side so here is our z position I'm gonna subtract 10 units from my z axis and set the variable so here you can see my right hand is properly working fine with proper ik here you can see when i move the object and also when i rotate the object like so the hand of my character is properly on the ledge so here is our right hand is set up now let's duplicate all of the functionality to for our left hand so in our ik hand tracing function i will create a sequence node and create and duplicate all the functionality and connect to the second node of the sequence so first thing first let's create a new virtual bone for our left hand as well I will select left shoulder right click add virtual bone target bone will be our left hand so here is our left virtual bone for our left hand is set up I will copy its name and in the event graph copy and paste the name over here instead of right hand and set the variable over here I have created IK left hand variable so 
so here you can see my both variables are properly set up now let's add the functionality to our animation blueprint here is our event graph of animation blueprint I'm gonna get ik left hand variable and promote it to the variable over here ik underscore left hand and open our animation graph let's duplicate the two bone ik and set the properties for our left hand ik bone will be our left hand location space for bird space is fine joint target will be our left arm like so and connect the node over here so for example here is our here is the position for our left hand then the target will be target bone will be 15 minus 10 10 and minus 5 so joint target is fine and for the factor location this will be our ik left hand variable so here is our two bone ik for our both hands are properly set up now let's check the result here you can see my IK for both hands are working fine. Let's add a delay of 0.2 seconds before activating the IK. Point 0.5 seconds will be fine. Here you can see when I move the latch or even rotate the latch like so the hands of my character are pro always properly to the latch position even when I move left and right So here is one issue that you can see when I grab the ledge after point step after point five second delay my hands are in proper position and before the point five second hands are not in the proper position because IK there is no any information for IK we have provided in 0.5 seconds so I'm gonna create a new blend pose by blue over here and when I enable the IK promote variable enable IK when this is true then my IK is working otherwise just perform the simple animation the system here you can see now my IK is not working because our enable IK is in 
call position false position so over here after 0.5 second I'm gonna create a new variable enable IK so I have already made the variable and after 0.5 seconds I will set the variable to true and when I release the latch set the variable to false like so so in a animation blueprint let's grab enable IK and set the enable IK over here now the result can be fine here you can see my character perform proper climb animation and then after 0.5 second the trace is working and the IK is also working fine that's reduce the delay of something like 0.2 So here you can see my IK is working fine. Let's change the object position like so. And check the result. Let's check it over circular or curved path like so. You can see at the curved path my IK is also working fine. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my work then do support me on Patreon. Thank you and goodbye.